Hi Queens, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janae. I run a blog called High Low Lux and I love luxury beauty, fashion, and travel. And today we are doing an unboxing. I treated myself to something that was on my luxury wish list for hitting 100,000 followers on Instagram. Thank you if you're one of those people. Um, so I wanted to treat myself, commemorate the moment, so I'd always remember it. And I found the perfect version of what I've been looking for for a very long time. So we will get into that. Also, I'm going to share a few of my favorite items on the pre-love market right now because unfortunately I cannot buy everything. So I figured I would share them with you. If you don't know, I do have a blog and every month I kind of do a roundup of um, all of the fa all of my favorite things, all of the kind of the best of the best that I have seen and it's all shoppable links and I kind of break them up into like um, classics, trendy, um, summer bags, um, work, travel, that kind of thing. So that went live yesterday for June, but I figured since I'm sharing a pre-loved item, I can kind of pop up some pictures of things that are still available that I really love and share with you kind of the reasons why my thought process, why I add it to my list, kind of what I look for, because that's always a question that I get. So I'll pop up pictures and I'll make sure there are links below. Of course, these are like every item, it's only it's one of one. So I don't know when you'll be seeing this video. If you are coming a little later, the item might be gone, but you can always refer back to my blog as well. I will link that link below. So without any more rambling, let's get into this gem that I found because it is everything I knew it could be. Okay, so let's get into my unboxing. Here's my fashion file box. Of course, I already ripped it open, so it is what it is. But I finally found the perfect. So Are you dying? Are you dying? Am I yelling? I'm sorry. Um, she's stunning. She is everything that I knew I wanted out of this bag. <sighs> okay, so this is the front. This is the bag. Um, if you did not see my 2020 luxury wish list, I'll pop it somewhere, maybe down below. Check the description box. Of uh, kind of like every year, I make a list of things that I would like to acquire throughout the year. That way I stay on track. I don't get too spendy on the wrong things. And I knew, I mean, I've known for two years that I wanted this bag, but I just never found the perfect one, like the right one. I always liked the, the plain tan, but I don't know. I, I, just, I never liked it enough to buy it. Every time I saw one, I was just like, it's just not, it's not enough for me to pull the trigger. There's something else that I want more than that. Um, and I, even the one that I put in my wish list video, it was like, um, it was, it had tan handles and it was, I'll pop up a picture. It was black and white striped. And I thought, okay, that's really different. That's really cool. And I actually found it. They, they have it right now on fashion file. But even when I saw that one, it still wasn't enough. And I feel like with this bag, you have to find like the right one for you because they come in so many, they always have neutrals and like just, um, solid colors. And then they always come out with these really fun prints and patterns. And I knew I wanted something special because this is such a kind of a classic simple kind of bag um and when i hit a hundred thousand uh well when i was like close i was at like 99 point something and i was like oh man this is gonna happen sooner than i thought i should treat myself literally i said i should treat myself i went on fashion file and this was literally on the first page like it had just been uploaded like it was fate it was fate when i saw i checked out immediately <laughs> I didn't think about it. I didn't like second guess it. I didn't try to put it on hold. I didn't try. I didn't ask anybody if they thought it was cute. I literally saw it. I gasped. And then I grabbed my wallet and I just checked out. And that was it. And I got expedited shipping also. But um, this is the bag. It has kind of like a hot pink kind of magenta e pink. Um, on the top and then it has uh, like a baby pink and then it has this kind of like sea blue and then like a light blue it's pop of yellow and then this little neon green handle it's just so uh, it's so perfect um, it opens like this that is the inside it came with the Loewe dust bag um, this is the fashion file tag it has a tan strap that you can adjust that's the back it has a zipper on the back like I knew I knew I was gonna like this bag but I love it so much more I already want another one 
for like fall. I want, I think the size larger because big bags are really in, but I need a top handle still. So I think I want the larger one in some type of like cool fall print. I know I'm talking very fast because I'm really excited because I love this bag that much. Um, for pricing, <laughs> it was an amazing deal. I, I, I can honestly, I can't even believe it. Um, so these bags retail for 24 to 2800 depending on like the print and materials used and all of that. Um, I could not find this exact one because usually they only do like the, the when they do prints, it's just like that print for the year or that print for the season. So um, currently this isn't in stores, but I saw something similar and it was 2800 And I got this one for $1,350. I know. I know. Um, the great thing for us is that these don't really hold their value on the pre-loved market. So I always knew I would buy it pre-loved. And this was an excellent condition at Fashion File. It is literally perfect. Like it is brand new. There's, I don't, I don't think it's been used. Like there's no like marks or scratches or anything on the hardware. Like it literally looks brand new. So that's my bag. That is my bag. I will, oh my God, I got it. It hurt. Hi, we're here going out excuse me yeah that's that's her she is so so perfect and welcome home let me know what you think let me know what you think are you dying i know i'm dying i'm dead <laughs> okay now that i've officially calmed down <laughs> and we've shown the bag let's move on to a few of my favorite finds on the free love market so first up is a Fendi peekaboo. I will pop that up. You know, I love that bag. I think it is, it's definitely one of Fendi's classics at this point. They make it every year. Um, they, you know, tweak little things about it. I found a black calfskin medium peekaboo iconic satchel in dark brown and purple. So the bag is, well, you're looking at it. It's dark brown and it has purple trim. And it is just, when I tell you the, the quality on Fendi bags, the peekaboo, it's delicious. It is just supple and stunning this is a medium i picked it again because it's more of like it's going to be a great like going into the fall kind of bag or if you just need like a classic style for work like it is perfect for that it fits so much like my small fits a ton so this would be great um if you just carry a little more and you want to have a lot of room super classic this one is in very good condition and it's retailing for two thousand dollars fendi peekaboos are expensive so they typically run four thousand so you get fifty percent off um, again, it's in very good condition. So again, that's something I look at because you have to figure out what's important to you. Um, so for this one, it says it has a few scuffs, which you can scroll through and they give you all of the pictures of scuffs. It says it has, let's see, a, a few scratches on the hardware, um, a few a few plating wear, and then some marks and scuffs in the interior. So again, depends on what's important to you. Like the... Um, Last Chanel bag I bought, that little blue one, that had a few marks on the inside, which is why I got such a big deal on it. That doesn't matter to me because I'm probably gonna get more marks on the inside because it's like fabric. Um, so that is a great deal on a, like a really classic bag that is a you know really expensive typically. And again, that's a bag that will last you forever. You could pass down. So I wanted to share that one. Um, next up is a puzzle bag. And this one is really, really stunning. Um, especially if you like blush tones, pop it up here. Um, it is in the small size, which is the same as the one I got. Um, and it's the cap suede small puzzle bag in blush, but it's like all different tones of blush and textures of blush. It is really, if I could afford to buy both, I would buy both. <laughs> um, and it is retailing for $15.95 and it's typically $2,500. So again, a really good deal. And it is in excellent condition. Again, Loewe puzzle bags, I highly recommend buying secondhand because they don't hold their value and you can get such a good deal. So love that one. Next up oh, is a Chanel bag. Um, and it is a tote. And this is just like oh, giving me like all of the like 90s vibes. Like I feel like Mary J. Blige or Lil' Kim would have had this bag. <laughs> um, it is a canvas chain jumbo CC tote. Um, it looks like some type of vinyl, but then it has that classic Chanel like strap. It is in very good condition and it's $1,000. $25. That is a phenomenal deal. This is perfect for like the beach or just, you know, shopping around on the weekends, running errands, and you just want to flex with like a nice little tote. This, this is that. Um, and she's in very good condition. She has a little bit of corner wear, um, marks on the inside and a few scratches on hardware before this looks like a vintage bag, um, for a vintage Chanel bag. That is a hell of a deal. So 
wanted to share that one again these will all be linked below um, and these are just my very best picks for my blog post okay next up is a stunning <laughs> Balenciaga city bag I know some people are over this bag I think it's a classic I think it's super cool and just timeless they have a pop it up the Balenciaga ingenue giant 12 gold mini city Bleu azure um, and this is the small mini little size in this beautiful baby blue with stunning gold hardware Oh, it's perfection um, and it's only $9.50 again similar to the Loewe puzzle bags the Balenciaga bags do not hold their value something I wish I would have knew many years ago when I bought mine full price from sex <laughs> but anywho um, this one is stunning it's in excellent condition and again only $9.50 it only says there are a few faint scratches but for like, this is the perfect summer bag oh my god so so cute with florals or whites mm. so good so good um, next is the Valentino Rockstud. Again, you know, this is one of my favorite bags. <sighs> the quality. Quality. This is the lambskin, right here, <laughs> the lambskin sequin medium Rockstud spike snake shoulder bag in black. Um, I love these bags when they have something special about them, like mine has the writing on it, or I like them in some type of suede. This one has this snake detail on it in crystals. I mean, it's extra as hell, so <laughs> it's not for everybody, but you're gonna do it do it um and this one is in very good condition and it is 15 15. so it's um originally four thousand dollars four thousand one hundred seventy five they had it on fashion file for 18.95 and it's been reduced 20 percent to 15 15. that is an amazing deal for this bag and for condition um it says it has a few uh, faint scratches on the hardware um it has some indentations and imprints on the inside so Again, nothing that you can really see, but that's a deal. That is a deal. Okay, next up, another vintage Chanel bag. This is the Caviar CC Vanity Train Case in black. Pop up a picture. This is just a cute, timeless, classic bag. Um, you can wear it as, again, a bag. You can wear it, you can use it as like a luggage piece. It's $17.95, which sounds pricey, I know, but it is Chanel. And if you can find anything for under $2,000, that is a steal especially in pretty good condition this one is in very good condition it has faint corner wear which i feel like most of my chanel like my my red one had um, faint corner wear so it just depends on how flexible you are um it does say that it has an odor in the interior and a little bit of um a few like marks on the inside so that's something to keep in mind as well especially with vintage it's probably been worn over the years a lot of times by a lot of different people so um and then as far as odor i guess that's probably relative that's not something i would shy away from because i don't have a great nose <laughs> um and also like there's ways that you can treat that so just depends um but again that's for 17.95 very good condition and then next up another chanel bag and this one is stunning it is a patent leather quilted chevron mini flat bag it is red and this is just like this is a year-round bag but it is so stunning again i prefer vintage chanel so this is giving me again all of the even like 80s and 90s vibes it's in it's for 1660 which is a hell of a deal um and it's in very good condition it has um looks like marks um a little bit of wear on the plating and again something with odor so you can the good thing about fashion file that i like is you can always send it back so if it's something you feel like you can't treat like you can keep it for a few days try to get the odor out if you can't you can always send it back but um interior scuffs and marks so again but still like a hell of a deal um for vintage chanel under two thousand dollars so if you're looking for like a red flap that's again where you can kind of be a little flexible um because this is super cute Okay guys, that's it. That is my roundup of luxury bags that I'm loving on the pre-love market. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing as well. And of course, if you want to see more bags, you can click the link below. I'll link the June roundup and the May one. You can see if there's any bags left that you're interested in. Um, of course, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram at Hylalux and read my blog, hylalux.com. Also join me on TikTok for daily outfit inspiration. I think that's everything. Leave any suggestions below of any videos that you want to see. And as always, thanks for stopping by. See ya.